Hello Stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. I'm so happy to be stamping with you tonight. Um, it's Monday night, uh, May 23rd, and I'm not usually live on Mondays. So um, we had a very, very busy weekend and uh, that's why I had to switch my night. So I hope you guys are all going to be able to join me. I see lots of people coming in right now. I've got Deborah and Cindy. Good evening, beautiful. Thank you. Cindy is here and Sandy just popped in. Jackie's here. Is it hot in Florida, Jackie? Hi, Luba. Hi, Rose. Everybody's popping in. The numbers are just going yeah, so um, I'm going to get myself live here also on my iPad so when I flip my camera around, I can see your comments coming in. That was seamless. So I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. Oh my gosh, our weekend was just so jam-packed. It was crazy. Um, let's see, my mom came over on Saturday morning. And then Steve and I and Haley and Val and Dawson went down to Stephanie's wedding reception. My stepdaughter had her wedding reception. If you remember, she got married last fall in Branson, Missouri. And I shared that video with you guys. And I have to tell you, it went viral because there are over 10 million views on that video. Is that not crazy? Yeah. So anyways, this is my Stephanie. Her and her husband decided to have a wedding reception for their friends because, you know, there was just a few of us that went to Branson. And so they wanted to celebrate with their friends. And they did it at Foundry 45, which is a brand new um, event facility. And it's a bunch of Stephanie Lee's friends that got together. There's 10 of them. Well, they're probably not all their friends, but there's 10 people who got together and invested in this place and completely remodeled it. And it's absolutely gorgeous. <gasps> so pretty. It's very crisp and clean and kind of a little farmhouse with industrial. And um, I think they're going to just have a fabulous, fabulous event place there. So this was a test run for that place. And um, you guys know Stephanie plays in a band, and so some of her band members are investors in this. And uh, it was it was just beautiful. Everything was beautiful. Um, she had a, a cookie, cheese, caramel popcorn, and cupcake table that was really pretty. And um, they had a light buffet. That's what they called it. I think they called it a light buffet. Oh, I just had her invitation here too. And so it was like nachos and it was delicious and it was just perfect. And everybody knew they weren't going to get this great big meal because that isn't what they wanted to do. They just wanted to have a, a celebration. And um, we took family photos. I can't wait to get those back because everybody was dressed up and looking all wedding-y. And um, we had just a fabulous, fabulous time. And then Val, if you guys saw the... Um, the little video I shared of Val teaching Dawson that you're supposed to clap when the band is done. <laughs> that was so funny. There's also, I don't remember if I put it on my, um, my personal profile page, but there's also a video of Val dancing. She was a dancing maniac, her and Molly. And um, it was really cute. But she really got into the music. So I think she gets that from her other grandma and grandpa because they are big music people. Like they like to go watch bands. And as a matter of fact, they're in Nashville right now. And I know they're probably having the time of their life because they love to watch live music. And so I think Val picked that up from them because she was just, she was all into it. It was so funny. But she was exhausted, so Steve and I took her and Molly, and we went back to the hotel. We stayed in a hotel. It's about um, an hour, an hour and 15 minutes from here, so we stayed in a hotel. And then Stephanie said she wasn't going to sing because she's a lead singer in a band, and she said she wasn't going to sing, but then her husband told her to get there and sing one song. <laughs> so she did, and we missed it. Ugh. I got to see it on a little video from my niece. But all of Steve's family was there, and um, 
it was just really fun. Of course, Lee's family was there too, but it was just really fun to see everybody. He's got a lot of brothers and sisters and most of them were there. So with their kids and the whole deal. So it was really cool. Uh, let's see what else happened. Then big doings on Sunday. That was Saturday. Big doings on Sunday. Um, we got up and me and my mom and Molly went out for breakfast. Haley and Jared and the babies went home. And um, we went out and had breakfast. And then my mom left and me and Molly went shopping. So I bought her some summer clothes. She was so excited. And um, then we had to go to AJ, my, it's Steve's oldest grandson. So Stephanie is his oldest daughter, his oldest child. And then it was her son, AJ. So my oldest grandchild that graduated from high school yesterday. And so we went to his graduation and that was just, I can't believe he's that old already. It's just crazy. But he's such a handsome, wonderful, kind, thoughtful, funny young man. And it's it's just crazy that he's a young man because I just, it's he should be a little boy yet. <laughs> and then we went out to dinner with um, Stephanie and Lee and AJ and his girlfriend Rain and um, Steph's um, in-laws were there and, um, her mom and her husband. And so it was just a big group of us that went out to eat. And so that was really nice. So today for lunch, I had leftover blackened chicken Alfredo. Oh, so good. I think I'm kind of giving up on my diet for right now because this is not working out. Um, earlier today, I was mowing on these babies like, oh, good grief, Kelly. Yeah, so anyways, <laughs> lots of fattening stuff here. Delicious. Yes, I do. Who just said that? Bobby said, I look so relaxed. And I really am because I was so glad that I postponed my um, Facebook Live until tonight. Because when we got home yesterday, we got home probably about... 6 30 quarter to seven and we brought all our stuff in the house and I immediately went and put on my comfortable clothes that close <laughs> you know with the stretchy waistbands and the big old t-shirt and a jacket like this you know big thick socks because it was chilly here <laughs> and um Steve went to bed at seven o'clock but before he went to bed he goes uh you could do your Facebook live tonight <laughs> it's quarter to seven which gives me 15 minutes and I'm like, ah, no. <laughs> so he went to bed at seven. I went in the living room and thought, I'm just going to relax and maybe watch a little TV. And I don't even think I made seven o'clock and I fell asleep. So it was just a really, really busy weekend. We had so much fun. And um, I was glad that I, that I rescheduled to tonight because then that I would have been kind of stressed out yesterday and like I was watching the clock and like, okay, we need to leave. And it was just so nice and relaxing. So I am, Bobby, very relaxed. And I had a good day today. What did I do today? I had to design three cards for my cup of tea class. And I got all three videos shot and I've only got one video left to edit and upload to YouTube. So I got the others done. Then I have to type up the project sheets and get those ready to go so that all Barb, Dina and I put those all together in one document. So I've got the top cup of tea class and that'll be done. Then I have, that's going out this week or next week. I'm sorry. Um, I've, oh no, it's going out later this week. The kits will be out in the mail next week, but the PDF for the class will be available on Friday. And then I've got the Sweetest Cherries as my kit class for this month, and that um, will be going out this week. So I need to get that finalized. And then let's see, we have a um, cup of tea. I had a little slip. So, oh, I know. I put it in my in my planner. Um, the cup of tea class. Oh, and the catalog kickoff. That's going out of here this week too. So, so many, so many things to get tied up this week. And um, next week, is it next week? Yes. Next week um, after Memorial Day, I will be leaving and I will be headed to uh, St. George, Utah. Ah, 
I'm meeting Barb and Dina. We're all flying in there. And also my good friend Lori, who's a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. We're getting together with a bunch of demonstrators in the same hotel in the same city that we used to meet for our founder circle, which was a retreat that was um, given to the top 100 demonstrators in the U.S. and the top 20 demonstrators in Canada. We all flew to St. George for like five days where Stampin' Up! pampered us and spoiled us. And we don't do that anymore because they change things around and we have different things happening now. But um, one of our demonstrator friends said that they really, really missed it. And we were all, oh, we really miss it too. So she said, let's go. <laughs> so that's what we're doing um, next week. We're leaving on Tuesday to head to St. George, Utah. So I wanted to let you know next weekend is Memorial Day weekend here in the United States. And I do not think I will be live. Um, and my week is insane enough that I hate to say I might be able to put together a live and then schedule it to post for you, but I'm not going to promise anything because I have to see how much I can get accomplished. I've got Kathy coming in to help me tomorrow with all these kits. So <laughs> I'm up to here with all kinds of good stamping. I'm excited about everything I, I need to do. Um, what else? I wanted to, I'm going to show you the, um, a million thanks kit tonight because I really love it. I think it's very, very cool. So I've got that and I'm going to share it with you. And I, um, let me see, what else do I have? Oh, I need to let you guys know bingo. So I was, um, doing bingo on the last Wednesday of the month and that's been my schedule for several months. And so um, with all the family things going on, it got kind of chaotic here. And I decided that I'm going to postpone bingo until June 8th. So um, one, two, in three more weeks, we're going to have bingo because I couldn't get the marketing out for it, the advertising, so you guys could sign up. And I didn't want to rush things. And I've got my plate full. So we're going to have bingo on cards and bingo. It's a card class with bingo thrown in between cards. And we're going to have that on June 8th. And I do anticipate getting all the information out to you guys. It'll be posted on my blog. It'll be posted here on Facebook. It'll go out in a newsletter if you're on my newsletter list. If you're not, you should be because it's a lot of fun. But um, then I'll have the sign up for cards and bingo. It's going to be June 8th, and I believe I always start that at 7 p.m. Central Time. So watch for that. I've had a few of you that have been asking me about it, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to get this done. So I made, I had a serious meeting with myself, and as the CEO of stampabove.com, I made the hard decision to postpone until June 8th. <laughs> That's so funny, right? Oh, oh my goodness. Um, let's see. Next up, John update. I have nothing. Like I have been in my office or down at weddings and graduations. So I have not. I saw John briefly as he was coming out while I was leaving. And so I don't have anything to tell you about John. He has been keeping his lawn mowed. So that's good, right? Steve mowed the lawn today. So that was good. Um, we also got a refrigerator and an upright freezer for our South Park property. So that's kind of exciting. I think he's going to probably take that up there this week. And I would love to go with him, but I will not be because I just told you why. <laughs> I've got all the things. All the things are happening. So um, he's going to go do that himself. But I do have exciting news. I have a couple exciting newses. First of all, I went and got my taxes today. I had to file an extension because I had to change tax preparers. My guy that usually does my taxes, he said, nah, he was kind of done with it. Because I started asking him some questions and he doesn't want to deal with all that. So he said, yeah, I'm going to kind of retire. So, um, I had to find a new tax person and he recommended somebody. So I was a new accounting firm and I went in and they said, your taxes are too much for us to get them done by April 15th or 18th or whatever it was. They said, we're going to file an extension. I'm like, whatever. So I picked my taxes up today, expecting that I was going to have like a huge tax bill that I was going to owe a lot. 
and I'm happy to report. I got a refund. <laughs> so I paid enough to estimate a taxes in last year. And so I didn't really get a refund. They they took my refund and applied it towards my estimated taxes that should have been paid April 18th, 15th, 18th, whatever. And um, so I had to pay less than estimated taxes for 2022. <gasps> I know, Elaine. Elaine's like, yay, Priscilla, yay. I know. So I didn't actually get any money back, but I also didn't have to give them like ten or $20,000. <laughs> Winning! I was so excited. I came home and, oh, and the other really exciting news about that is I looked it up and last year I paid my guy like $550 to prepare my taxes. They're, they're kind of a nightmare. And um, this new place, $140. I was like, what? I didn't, I didn't say that, but in my head I was like, what? I just wrote out my check and paid the lady. So yeah, Cindy says party. I know, I said to Steve, I said, we should go on a vacation. Yeah, we don't have time for that either. <laughs> so we're just gonna like do a little dance and be happy about it. I know, Judy, woohoo. So that was exciting news. And then the other exciting news, I'll tell you that in just a second. First, we're gonna do prizes. Okay, so. There's three ways to win prizes. And the first way is to comment. So if you're new to me, please leave a comment. You can say hi. You can say where you're coming from. <gasps> Lois says, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> I know I've had some pretty rough tax years. Like I've had some years where I thought I was, you know, doing really good on my estimated taxes and found out that I really needed to pay more. And uh, you just never know. But this year it was good. Um, so by leaving a comment here, you can win fabulous prizes. I do a drawing every time I have a Facebook Live. And so for commenting on my last Facebook Live, I have a roll of this gorgeous cherry cobbler and gold metallic ribbon. Oh, so beautiful. This is going out to Marilyn Corbis from Lake Havasu City, Arizona. Marilyn, you're a winner, yay! So I've got everything all packaged up. I've got your dress label on here. These are going out before I go to bed tonight, so they'll be in the mail tomorrow. Now, the second way is to share this video. And someplace on your screen right now, there's a share button. Sharing this video really helps me grow my business and reach new people. And that's like, that's huge, right? So I have a very cool prize. I've never given one of these away before. This is the 2022-2023 catalog tabs. These are available to demonstrators or discount shoppers. If you join my team, you can get these. But I am going to award these as a prize and they are going out for sharing my video last time. Lanny Rhodes of Port Charlotte, Florida. These are on their way to you. And then I thought, I don't have all of mine in, but here they are. So you just go through the catalog. Whoops, hang on. You go through the catalog. Let's see if I can find them. You go through the catalog and you put these tabs on. And they do have words on the front. Here we go. There's one. And so you can, I do it so I can find the things. Like, for example, this one is my embellishments because I need to find my embellishments frequently in my catalog. And here's my embossing folder. So I've got a tab on there. So that's what these are. And they're going to Lanny Rhodes of Port Charlotte, Florida. Let me get these in here in a very fancy envelope. Oh, this one's cute too, right? And then I have this one. Now, for placing an order between last time and this time on my Facebook Live, I am going to award the Heal Your Heart. This is a beautiful, beautiful sentiment set. And I have that gorgeous vellum. It's white, it's black, it's got roadmaps, it's got words, it's just so fun. So the stamp set and the vellum are going out to Cynthia Shawl of Mankato, Minnesota. Yay, these are on their way. So 
Let me put, I've got cardboard here to put the vellum in so it doesn't get squished and wrinkled and all the things. Oh, it might not fit in this envelope. Oh yeah, it's going. And this is not such a fancy envelope. Well, I'm gonna have to figure this out because it's not really fitting. <laughs> so we'll get, don't worry, <laughs> we'll get it. Okay, um, so click on that like button. Give me a thumbs up if you're watching later on YouTube. That really helps me out. Leave a comment on YouTube because I do, I pull the comments and the winners from Facebook and YouTube. You can share on YouTube. You can share on Facebook. You can click the like. You can give me a thumbs up. You can do all the great things that help me in the whole internet world, the crazy internet world. Okay, then I was going to tell you my other really exciting thing today. And um, so first of all, you guys have to promise not to judge me because my windows are dirty, right? Who has time to clean windows, like honestly? But Steve said he was gonna do it and he hasn't yet. He's pretty busy, he's a pretty busy guy. So I am going to take my camera out of here. If we get, if we get cut off, you guys just come back to me, same place but I am going to show you my exciting news and you can see how gross my swimming pool is. Look, there's Steve, he's cleaning it. That is evening evergreen with a tinge of old olive at the moment. So it's pretty gross, right? But he is getting that baby cleaned up for me. Oh, and you guys can maybe see my flowers over there too. See them over there in the corner, bottom right corner or left maybe, I don't know if it's backwards, but yeah, those are just some of my flowers that I got. So anyways, there's Steve. He is my pool boy. <laughs> he actually gets a kick out of it when I call him that. It's not like something mean, <laughs> but yeah. So my pool is really gross, but we bought a custom cover for it last year. First time in 20 some years that we have lived here and had this pool. And, um, it came, we didn't order it till late, so it took a while to get there. Yeah, it is a big pool, Mary. I love I love it. I love my pool. And um, it came with the house. So um, we bought this custom cover and we didn't get it on till really late. So the pool was turned off and the water just sat there for a long time. And so it got really gross. Hopefully next year when we take that cover off, it won't be so gross. But it is evening evergreen with just a tint of old olive, don't you think? <laughs> Do you guys go around and say like everything is stamping up colors? <laughs> I know. It's so funny when we do that. Okay, let me put my notes back up there. I think we're ready to turn this baby around and we're going to start um, with some stamping stuff. Are you guys ready? I think you're ready. <gasps> Lisa said it was 18 degrees there. She's in northern Wisconsin on a cranberry what did you say something about cranberry cranberry marsh we live on a cranberry marsh oh that's chilly when i woke up this morning it was 46 i think and steve went golfing this morning with some um old people old people <laughs> well they're all old <laughs> um i always tease him about that um with some old friends from work he used to work with. So that was kind of fun. He said he took them cheese and crackers and some of his venison sausage and they thought that was pretty nice. So yeah, he can be nice like that. He's a pretty thoughtful guy until he's not. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> so saffron shirts, exactly. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Whose granddaughter said what? Oh yeah, when we go shopping, <laughs> cabana boy. I know. Coastal Cabana. Yes, this could be Coastal Cabana. It's kind of a little darker than Coastal Cabana, but this is one of my favorite, favorite shirts. And this, it says Yellowstone. I got this in Yellowstone. It's not Yellowstone the show. It's Yellowstone, the most beautiful park in the world, Yellowstone. And I got this um, like several years ago and I wear it constantly. So I'm going to be sad when it like gets a hole or starts looking really ratty, right? Because I just love this shirt. Okay, enough about my shirt and my pool and my flowers and my crazy husband or my pool boy, Ozarks. Oh, Karen, Ozarks, I love the Ozarks. We're gonna flip this camera around. I've got you plugged in and I think it's time to get busy with some stamping. So get you in here. We're gonna get you straight because I 
hate it when it's crooked. It just says all discombobulated when things are crooked. Let's get this. Now, this is my website. And I had somebody email me the other day and say, I can't, I can't find your blog. I can't find your website. It's right here. All you do is type that in. Type that in like you do a search for Amazon or Kohl's or anything else. Type that in and you'll find me. This is my current host code. Now that'll probably only be good for about another week and then I'll change it. But you can always find this on my blog and you're just gonna look for host code in the right hand column or at the bottom of my blog posts. I have the new or most current host code in there. You wanna use this code when your order is under $150 and when it's over $150, don't use this code. You're gonna get some rewards from Stampin' Up just like you had a party and I want you to have them. But if you don't get over $150, nobody gets any rewards unless you use this host code and that's what helps me give away prizes. Okay, first I wanted to tell you guys, remember my ugly fingernails? They were like kind of a, a peachy color and then I had her put gold glitter on this finger and it was just hideous. Well, I took some fingernail polish and you can see it's kind of wearing off the ends, but I took some fingernail polish and I painted them over them. I painted them over them, there you go. I painted over them and I think they look just fabulous now. This is kind of wearing off too. But anyways, I fixed my ugly fingernails for the wedding because they were pretty hideous. All right, do not do peach, peachy color with gold glitter. It's just not okay. It was pretty disgusting. And you guys agreed with me last time when I told you that. This is the A Million Thanks kit. This is a brand new kit by Stampin' Up. And we have, in this kit, we have this little stamp set. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six different stamps in here. And we've got, oh look, Evening Evergreen, the beautiful shade of my swimming pool right now. <laughs> but I wanted to crack this open and show you what one of our kits look like. I can't remember how much this is, um, but I'll show you everything that's in it. And again, it's called A Million Thanks Kit. And if you do a search in my online store for kits, all of them will come up. And oh, we have some really beautiful kits. So let's get this open. This is how a kit comes. First of all, it comes in this really nice box. Great for storage. And this kit includes some, it looks like resin type dots. Let's see if I can get the packaging open. And some dimensionals. So we have some mini dimensionals that we're gonna need to make the cards. And also these fun, these look like they might be Black or evening evergreen, but it's gonna tell us all about it. So let's take a little look-see. This is gonna be the instructions. Oh, Priscilla says she just got that kit and it's so much prettier in person. It's beautiful online, so that's why I knew I had to get it. Look, it shows you exactly what to do. It even comes with the block. So this is the kind of kit that is fabulous to give as a gift to anybody. It has everything except all you're gonna need is scissors and any type of adhesive will work for somebody brand new to make cards, right? So it shows you all the goodies in here. Look at that. Here's all the instructions for the cards and here's the contents of the kit. So we have da -da 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 -da, contents. Um, it contains nine cards and nine envelopes. And then I was looking to see what they called these, but it's not its not telling me, it's just showing everything. So we've got this and this, we've got a block. We've got oh, envelopes striped on the inside. So that's pretty cool. I always, you guys know I like a decorated envelope. And then we've got our card bases. So we've got three, and look at this is embossed. That's pretty cool. Let's see if I can get some good light in here. This is embossed polka dots. And these are all scored. So you just fold them in half and you're ready to roll. We've got some die cut, looks like die cut hearts here. And these are really nicely die cut. They're high quality. And you just pop them out like that. So there's three of those. Oh, look at these are embossed squares on here. So this is, these are cool. Here's another set of cards and here's a whole bunch of dies. Oh, you get three sheets of dies here. 
So that's neat. These all just pop right out of there. And here's the third card. And look at, these are embossed too. I love this. I love these. These are so pretty. And then I thought this was ribbon, but it's actually die cuts. So how cool is that? That's even easier than ribbon. Look at that. It looks like ribbon zigzagged back and forth, but it's actually die cut. And then we've got some banners. These are all die cut and more banners. Again, die cut. And then here's some labels. These are really pretty too. So this is the kit. Oh, and here's some mini glue dots. This is the kit. And then you've got all the instructions on how to put it together. And I didn't plan on putting this together tonight. I was just going to show it to you. So maybe if I get a Facebook Live together that I'm going to pre-record and share with you while I'm gone, I will put these together. But you definitely, if you're even inkling that you love this, which I can't imagine you don't, but you're going to want to order this soon because our kits usually don't last very long because they are very, very popular. So a million thanks kit. And... Let's see. It comes with all the goodies, makes a great, great gift. I was just looking to see if there was a item code on here someplace. No. So you just put in a million thanks kit. But this is a really cool one, and I knew I had to have it. All right. Does anybody know? Did somebody say how much this was? I'm figuring somebody knows. You even get your ink spot. I think maybe we'll put, I'll, I'll, I'll at least put one of these together if I can get that Facebook Live not live done. So, okay. Oh, don't forget to put my stamp set back in there. That would be great. You know, I lost some things today and I'm almost embarrassed to say it, but one of the cards we're going to make tonight, I've actually made three out of the same set and they're all very similar except they use different stamps in the set and I can't find them. And then I also, I figured there with my fern embossing folder, which I've used, it's brand new. I've used it, but I can't find that either. So I don't know where it is, but I think they're all together. I'll find them. This place is horrible right now with so much going on. I need to get it cleaned up and Kathy's coming tomorrow. <laughs> so whoo, they're usually about $23. Who told me that? Kimberly did, about $23. So, yeah. And, okay, let's bring in, what are we gonna make first? We'll make this, I've got a fun fold for you guys that I'm really excited about. And it uses this new Season of Chic. And I am going to, this has a whole bunch of stamps in it, just a whole bunch. So there are 17 stamps in here. They're all photopolymer. I love the fonts on here. Let's see if I can find that in here. Season of Chic is on page. You guys know that our index is back here. 99. Here we go. And it's a whole suite. So we have the um, stamp set. We have gorgeous designer paper and also this beautiful distressed gold, which is a 12 by 12 paper. Now, let me see if I have, I don't think I have a DSP sampler yet for this one. Let me check, because I don't, I don't, I don't remember doing one for this one. Oh, I don't think so. I'm right. So let me grab the paper so I can show it to you because it is really spectacular. If I can find it. How about that? No, I've got tons of it here. Okay. I think I even have a full pack. I bought a, I bought a whole bunch of this because I knew that this was what I, I will love this paper for just a whole bunch of things. So let's take a look. See, this is called Texture Chic 12 by 12 Specialty Paper. It's got gold, ugh, gold foil in it. So here's one side, here's the other. And I love this. Here's one side, 
here's the other. This has snowflakes in it. Isn't that pretty? Here's one side and the other. Oh, delicious. So each one of these paper patterns kind of has a stamp in the stamp set, or most of them do. Isn't that gorgeous? And it's kind of shabby chic, seashells, and then gold polka dots. So, so pretty. So that's the whole pack of paper. Let me see if I can get this back in here without messing anything up and quickly so you guys aren't like falling asleep here. There we go. Okay. So texture chic. Tobacco. Oh, and then where's the gold? Hang on, let me find. I bought a whole bunch of gold too. Here it is. Because I was going to make this giant swap. So I, this trip that I'm going on to Utah, I have to have 78 swap cards. <laughs> yeah. And I'll be sharing those with you probably next time I'm on. But this is this beautiful distressed gold. Look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. And it, it, it's like our specialty. You get two sheets of it for $5. Just like our foil papers, you get two sheets of those for $5. Okay, so, whew, beautiful. That's what we're going to be using. And let's put this over here. I'm going to start getting out all my bits and pieces. I've got my stamp set here. And like I said, I actually made at least three cards out of this. And the only reason I can find this one is because it was out with one of my helpers getting made into swap cards because this is, um, I have other swaps that I'm involved in too. <laughs> oh, good Lord. <laughs> I know, right? Got some other swaps that I'm involved in. And uh, this is one of them. I used this particular one. Now this is actually kind of a fall theme. And I wanted to do the seashell one for you first, but well, we'll get to that next time because I, I just can't find it. There are 19 different um, dyes in here. This thing is incredible. Like it is the holy cow of bundles, but I really like this one. This one does some really cool stuff. And I'll be sharing that with you um, in the future. I don't have anything today, but you've got snowflakes, you've got flowers, you've got little seashells here, we've got leaves, you've got outlines for the snowflakes, you've got some other flowers. It's just a really, really, really cool set of dyes. Oh, I thought that would fit in there, but it doesn't. So anyways, and there's some more that aren't even in here because I'm going to share them with you right now. We are going to be using the leaves. So we've got this one and this one. And I've also got the square from the Stylish Shapes dies. And let me see if I can quickly locate them. Yeah, things are kind of a circus here. Oh, I don't know where they are kind of a circus here because I've got so many things binned up for swaps that have been coming and going out of my house. <laughs> so usually when I do a swap, I design the card and then I get everything cut and ready to go and it goes out to one of my helpers and they actually assemble it, um, stamp it and assemble it. And of course my helpers are top notch and they have to be because I am extremely picky about my swaps and they are very very good at what they do all right here's that paper oh my gosh so pretty okay so this is going to be a fun fold and it's one of my favorite kind so we are going to do a little bit of scoring here this is some evening evergreen which is one of the matching colors with this designer series paper and we, are, oh, this is five and a half by 11. We're gonna score this at one and three quarters. And then I'm gonna tell you guys, I will have um, a free download on my blog. It's a project sheet, you can print it out and save it, or you can just save it to your 
computer or device so that you can recreate these with ease. That will be posted later tonight on my blog. So it takes me a while to get this video saved to my computer, then I have to upload it to YouTube, then YouTube has to go through a bunch of checks to make sure that I'm not doing naughty things. And um, <laughs> then I have to take pictures of everything and there's a whole thing. You gotta edit them and I gotta bring it into my blog and I gotta code it and gotta be a computer programmer and all the things. It's just, it's crazy. But that's what has to happen after a Facebook Live. This part right here that we're doing, this is my favorite and it's the easiest thing that I do. I love doing live videos for you guys, but it's all the after that is what is a, you know, a real time sucker. <laughs> time suck. Okay, so I'll let you know what I'm doing here. We've got one and three quarters, three and a half, five and a quarter, and seven inches, okay? So this is gonna be our card base. Now this piece right here is three by six. It's also evening evergreen, and we're just gonna score this at three. Depending on which way you cut this from your cardstock, you could just fold it in half if the grain of your paper allows you to do that. So there's that piece. I didn't even do anything wrong, and I feel like I'm gonna have a little hot flash here. So let me take off my <laughs> jacket. Usually those only come when I screw something up. <laughs> and then I get a little flustered. All right, so we've got this little piece. And then we are going to do a zigzag back and forth with these folds. So I always like to fold and then burnish. Here's a fold and burnish. And I've got some glue dot on there that's making me crazy. And then fold again and burnish, and then I'll show this to you. It goes just like this, okay? Then I've got a piece of basic white. This basic white is three and three quarters by five and a quarter, and then I've just got a half a strip of this designer series paper. So I'm going to take that and just put it right down the edge of my basic white layer. And this was literally a scrap. So this is a great way to use up your scraps. Turn this off here. There we go. Make sure that I have this straight. And we can put this right inside our card. Because this card is gonna be kind of all about the designer paper. Showing that off, because it's so, so pretty. Okay, next up. Now we have all these panels. And so this is the pattern that has the leaves on it. And so I am going to use these two, have good leaves on them, and then the other side on the other two. And I am going to add, oh, by the way, these panels are one and a half by five and a quarter, super easy, and you need four of them. And so our designer paper is absolutely perfect for this type of card with a designer paper like this because it all color coordinates. So you can just cut four pieces and turn one one side, one the other side, and you're gonna end up with a card that looks just smashing. Here goes another one. Another one, and I'm just flip-flopping these back and forth. And another one. All right, so this is our fun fold. And I love this one because it's so easy, but it's so spectacular, right? Like, that is pretty cool. Okay, next, we are going to grab... Hang on, I gotta grab a scrap here. We're gonna grab a scrap of Evening Evergreen. And, um, oh yeah, I need, you need a square of this. This is, 
I don't know, two and three quarters by two and three quarters. Okay. So that's what that square is. We're going to take that and we are going to put it on one of these panels. So you have two panels here. This one panel, make sure this is the right size, is going to get a piece of the designer paper. There, oh, looks a little crooked. There we go. And then the other one is a square cut out of a scrap with the stylish shapes. So we're gonna do a little bit of stamping on there. We're going to die cut this detailed leaf out of here, and we're going to die cut the gold leaf out of here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut this. So I just have as much as I need here. I don't want to smash this. <laughs> kind of protective of the paper. Okay, so here comes our machine. I thought I had these cut out already, but I don't. So get a little, a little die cutting in here. So I'm gonna put that there. And then this one here. Here we go. Look at how pretty this is, you guys. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I love this paper. I just love it. All right, then I've got my take your pick tool. This is my most favorite tool in the world and you will find that I use it for all kinds of different things. If you don't have one of these, you need to get yourself one. Add it to your next order because it is invaluable. Okay, usually I sneeze three times, excuse me. <laughs> but I only sneeze twice, that's very highly unusual. Okay, next I'm gonna bring in my piercing mat. This is just a piercing mat. I cover it with printer weight paper, tape it on with scotch tape. It is my stamping surface. So we are gonna do a little bit of stamping here. I've got Mango Melody, Soft Succulent, I think, oh, and Evening Evergreen. So I'm going to grab, and we're gonna stamp the sentiment first. And let's see. Note of fate. Da, 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 da. Where's my sentiment? You are. Oh, maybe I put it away already. Huh. Hang on. Oh, it's in here. Sorry. because it was out with one of my helpers. <laughs> so it's in a different place. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna stamp this right here. And I love this font and I love that you can see exactly where you're stamping, right? That's always like the coolest thing for me with photopolymer stamps. Then I am going to grab my soft succulent. And I'm going to take this little splattery spot thing, stamp, and I'm just going to stamp this around. So I stamped once full strength, and then I'm gonna stamp again, second generation ink. And stamp off once, and then do that. Okay, so this is what we have, just some splatters. And we're gonna clean that. I'm gonna clean this stamp right away too. Oh, by the way, this is a chamois. You just squeeze it out under water, rinse it out in water when it gets dirty, and it, it'll be stained all the time, but that's, that's what I use to clean my stamps. And then we're gonna do Mango Melody, which seems like a very odd combination, but wait till you see it, because it's pretty cool. 
Here comes our Mango Melody. And I'm just gonna do full strength with this one. Maybe, maybe one right here and maybe one right there. How about maybe one more right there? <laughs> okay, there's our Mango Melody. And we also have some of this. This is our gold shimmer ribbon. And I just wanted a little bit of this to spruce up my swap. So I just tied it in a little knot like this and I'm going to cut it just like that. We're gonna use a mini glue dot to attach this, oops, to our card. So I've got my mini glue dot here, stick it on there and pull that off. I'm just gonna set that right there. And now we're going to add these. I'm gonna do my leaf and my other leaf, and I'm gonna put this one right up here. Ooh. Just like this. And then we're gonna bring this one. I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue to these bigger areas. Don't put too much on. You don't want it gushing out all over and make a big old mess. And then I'm gonna do this one like this. So pretty, right? And we're gonna take this panel now and attach it to the front here, just like that. And now you take this piece and you're going to position it over these folds, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it down in here. I'm gonna make sure, oh, this got crooked, hang on. Cause I didn't let it dry all the way before I started wiggling things, okay? <laughs> make sure it dries all the way. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep, I'm gonna keep a hold of it right here. And then I'm going to open this up cause I know it's right where it needs to be. I'll put a little bit of glue right down this edge here. going to center this right on here. Now you're gonna hold that in place. You wanna let it dry a little bit. Ah, oh, thank you guys so much. Thank you, I'm just reading all your comments. Courtney, you're the sweetest. She said exquisite. We got Sue with beautiful, very pretty from Elizabeth. And now, see how this is going? We're gonna take this and we're gonna put some glue right here, and then a little bit of glue along that edge, and you just take this and close it. This is like one of the very easiest fun folds, right? But it's so spectacular because of all the little panels and the designer paper and holy cannoli. Now, let me grab an envelope. You guys know that I like to decorate my envelopes, and I thought I had piece of designer paper here for that, but I didn't. So I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I am going to get really fancy with this one. I wouldn't normally be this fancy, but I think this card needs really fancy. So I'm gonna bring in this gold distressed paper and to decorate your envelope flap, you're gonna cut it two and a half by six. How fancy is this gonna be, right? Oh. Here it comes. We're gonna take our glue. And we're gonna put this, this is kind of a nice thin paper too. It's really different. Easy to work with. Beautiful, obviously, right? And now we're just gonna trim around that envelope flap. Just like that. What do you guys think? Holy cow, right? What? Okay, we can't forget this. This is our little piece of ribbon. That's gonna be perfect. What do you guys think? Perfect right there, right? 
perfect, perfect. Here's our envelope flap. And I'm thinking, let's see, do I have anything? I do have this leaf right here. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do a little bit of stamping. Oh, this isn't even the right stamp set in there. Isn't that funny? <laughs> this is the right one. <laughs> I'm going to do a little bit stamp a leaf right here. Oh, I know. And then I'll do a soft succulent one. I'm getting just all fancy here, right? Okay, you guys, I am able to um, look at more of your comments now. So if I missed anybody's questions, now would be a really good time for you to re-ask because it's hard for me to stamp and monitor and do all the things. <laughs> five star. It's a five star, Connie says. <laughs> she doesn't want the post office abusing it. Yeah, I know they are kind of abusive, aren't they? Um, did you guys see my dies? Here they are. So look at all these dies in here. So we have we have summer, spring, summer. We have winter. You make each season of life even more beautiful. How I mean, this is just in fall, the all the seasons, so many pretty elements in here. And here is our gorgeous fun fold card. I just love it. Don't you love it? So what I was saying to you guys earlier is that I have made this card with all of these. I have one with flowers. I have one with shells. I have one with um, snowflakes, but I can't find them. They're here. And I know I set them someplace because they were in my way that I didn't want to lose them. Well, way to go, Kelly. So I will find them and I will make sure that I share them with you in an upcoming Facebook Live. But I've made this the same card with all the different papers and all the different stamps. And it, it's just so beautiful. I love this suite. Like You're going to see a lot more of this coming from me. Okay. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Um, da, 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 da. I'm just looking at all your comments. Roxy says she loves the DSP. She's planning to use it with the beach um, seashell dies. That's a great idea too, right? These are all so pretty. Okay, I'm going to put these away. Oh, that doesn't even fit in there. There we go. Get this. I don't know what... I don't know where my die set is for that. I know I sound like a complete mess when I say that, and I really shouldn't even tell you guys that. But I am sometimes, and, you know, it's just keeping it real. <laughs> because I know we're not perfect, right? Nobody's perfect. But I do tend to lose a lot of things. I always find them again, so don't worry. All right, next up, we are going to... Oh, this one... My next project, you guys, I made today, and I had a little bit of time, and I have a swap that's due out in the mail tomorrow, so I'll be working on these, too, to, um, but I only have to make, I think, eight of them, so it's, it's no big deal, right? I can crank those out, and I wanted to get them done and give them to one of my helpers, but I, I just, I, there was no time for me to even make the card. So I did it today. And then I thought, well, I can share this with you guys because it is a brand new bundle and it is called Cottage Rose. And holy cow, there's 10 different beautiful stamps in here. Line art images with some gorgeous sentiments. And then we have all of these. Oh, here's another die be using that one so I gotta get that one out of there this is called the cottage flower dies and there are hang on let me put my other glasses on I can't read with those I can only see the screen on my phone it's the weirdest thing there are eight dies in here so this is beautiful you've got dies that cut out the big flowers you've got dies that cut out this um, sprig of leaves and 
Then, oh, here's another. This is this is doesn't have a stamp, but it's just some leaves. We're gonna use that. And then we have these flower elements that also are not cutting anything out. They're just extra elements, and I love it when Stampin' Up! does that. And then, of course, you have this big die, and that cuts out all kinds of elements, too. And, you know, I'll bet you this big die cuts out these and this. Sure it does. Oh, and look it! I didn't even know this, you guys. It also cuts out this. Look at that. Good grief. I had no idea. So all of these cut out a whole bunch of little elements that are in here. So that's really cool. We're going to use these two for our card. Where did my pack go? Here it is. All right. I am going to... Oh, and this one. We're going to use that one too. Take a drink. What are you guys drinking tonight? What do you got? Huh? I got my good old strawberry lemonade, but I do have to tell you guys, I had a few old fashioned Saturday. A few. <laughs> they were really good. <laughs> okay. So I have, oh, look at this one. I forgot to put that one back in there. Where'd that go? Right here. Um, I've got my card base. My card base is our thick basic white card stock. It is four and a quarter by 11. And some reason my comments went away and I don't know why. There they come back. Okay. Oh, I see iced tea and water. Peach tea, yum. Plain old water. Oh, water is so boring, right? It just sucks the joy out of your life. <laughs> I don't like water ever. Okay, unless you mix it with things like strawberry lemonade. Okay, I have a petal pink scrap. I've also got um, gold foil. I didn't know how much I was gonna need. A basic white scrap. First thing we're gonna do. Oh, I have to show you guys these. And you know what, as long as we're here, I am going to get out some cardstock and see what I can do here. Um, let's take a bigger piece. Here we go. So I haven't actually even used all of these yet, but I wanted to show you these. These are called the Fabulous Frames dies. There's six different dies and they make, what do they make? Fabulous frames. Exactly. So the first frame that I'm going to cut out for you is this one. So let's get our machine in here. And we're going to die cut this, make sure it stays on here, because we're going to use this for our card. Now, it might get a little jiggly, just bear with me. Sometimes there's jiggling in beautiful card making. Okay, so this is what we have. It makes an actual frame. So that's the inside, and here is the actual frame. Make sure that's in my camera. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so we're gonna actually, a lot of actually going on. We're gonna use that for our card. Okay, so there's that one. Then I'm going to use this one on here. Okay, let's put this in this way so you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna cut that out so we can see what it looks like. We've got this little label. I'm gonna throw that in here. And I'll do these. These are like corner thingies. What do they call those? Um, almost like photo corners. Okay, all going through the machine. There we go. I don't see anybody working on my pool anymore. <laughs> it's such a slave driver. Okay, here we go. Here's this round one, and here's, you get an oval, and then you get this. So you could use this for something, but this is an oval frame, right? That's pretty cool. I'll set that over there. And then here comes our little label deal. So we have a label with little holes in it, so that's pretty neat looking. 
And then here comes our photo corners. And that die actually cuts out four at once. So we have all of these. So this was the, this was the die. Cuts out all of those at once. So that's pretty cool, right? And then we have this one. This one's really fancy. And I'm gonna take a big piece of cardstock and we're gonna die cut this big frame so I can show you what that looks like. I'm gonna cut this on my paper trimmer. Okay, here comes. Now, anytime I have a big die like this, I just find that it helps my machine so that it's not feeling like it's, you know, getting beat up or being used really harshly. If you put it on a little angle like that, sit so it's straight through, because then your machine is rolling over a little bit and then a little more and a little more versus the whole straight edge where it's like, er, it's got to climb over that whole hill all at once. So I just find that it goes through easier. And I think it's just better. I think it's better to do that. So here comes our frame. <gasps> Look at that. You get this nice rectangle. And then you have this frame with the little stitching dots on it and some embossing. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so there's that one. And then we have one more here. Oh, here's a scrap. We'll use the scrap with, where did those fancy ones go, you guys? Oh, here they are. Here's the fancy ones. So we'll do those. And then this is going to be the last one. And here we go. Let me get this out of the way. These just fall right out, which is fabulous. And then here they are. They have those little squirrels embossed right into them. So what do you do with something like this, right? So let's pretend this was a card front. You can put them on here like this. You can put another layer on the front and then put these on the corners of it. Like, how about this? Oh, but they're the same color. Let me get a different color of cardstock. Let's see if I got a little piece here someplace. Well, I don't, but you'll get the idea. Okay, so we could layer this up, and then you could put this layer on, and then you could use these in the corners, just like that. And that would kind of really cool. It's like kind of a really old-fashioned type thing. So that's what these are. So those are fun. Great embellishments, add to your card. Let me get these all put back in here so I can show you the amazing card that I made today. I'm kind of pretty proud of it. Um, especially since it was just like such a, oh, let's, let me design a card quick. Because it doesn't look like it was something I designed quick. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with how pretty it turned out. Okay, whew. All right, so <laughs> what we're gonna do, we've got our frame here. This is actually the frame that we're gonna use. And then this piece that came out of the middle, we're gonna use that for our sentiment layer. And then here comes our gold. And I wasn't sure if this piece would be big enough for both things that I needed. And it's pretty, oh, that'll fit. Okay, so I would do that. And Let's see, what else do I need here? Oh, I know. This is just a scrap of white. We're gonna do a little bit of stamping. So, let's put out all our things. I've got crumb cake ink. And then I got my stamps mounted. We're gonna use crumb cake ink, which is a little different for me, right? And I'm going to take this big flower. And I'm gonna ink it up. And I'm gonna stamp it just like that. Isn't that pretty? Just got a lot of detail. It's very, very pretty. And then, as long as we've got this ink out and we're getting dirty, 
I am going to take this particular flower and I'm gonna stamp it right in here with the crumb cake ink. And now we're gonna take this flower and we're gonna just stamp this all over the front of our card base. Do another one like right down here and one more big one right about here. Then I'm gonna come in with these spriggy little leaves. Well, I don't know, should I do the flowers first? Let's, yeah, let's do the flower first. We're gonna tuck that up in here like this. And then I'm gonna come in and bring some of these leaves in here to kind of fill that in. Whoops, we'll do another little flower right up here. And then some of those leaves. And maybe just the leaves right here. Let's see. I don't know if that really fits in there that good. Uh, let's just do that. Okay, that looks great. So this is our card front. And last but not least, we're gonna take that rectangle and we're gonna stamp our sentiment. And I chose to use the happy birthday. Got some birthdays coming up that I need some cards for. Stamp that right on the edge. And I'm gonna just set that aside. I'm gonna bring my paper trimmer in here. And I, I'm just gonna cut this. You just cut it as wide as you need it for whatever sentiment you choose to use. So I'm just cutting that off like that. Okay, let's see what we got here. We have a frame. We need to get these die cut, okay. We need to get this die cut. Here's that flower. So we need to get this, this die cut and okay, hang tight. Here comes our flower, just like this. And here comes our gold. Isn't that pretty? So delicate. This was kind of an afterthought and oh my gosh, it just, just wait till you see this. It's really pretty. Okay, I'm going to grab some Stampin' Blend markers. Don't let me forget to do the Wink of Stella either. So we've got uh, Old Olive Light. And I'm just gonna do a little bit of coloring on these leaves. I'm not doing anything fancy here. I'm not using two colors. I just wanted to keep this pretty quick and simple but you could definitely use two different colors of green on here, like the light and the dark, and make them all really fancy. But yeah, I was excited to get this card created. I'm in a, a swap, it's called a bundle swap. And this is the bundle. Everybody has to use this bundle. So I'll get eight cards back using this particular bundle and I'll be able to share them all with you guys. And I love doing this swap. It's different each month. And I love doing the swap because you get so many ideas with the same bundle. And I just find that that makes it more valuable to me when I have a lot of different ideas. And then of course I love to share them with you guys because I figure if I find them more valuable, you're gonna find them more valuable too. And we all need more stamping ideas, right? <laughs> oh, you guys are so welcome. Who's got a birthday? Somebody's birthday. Happy birthday. Okay, now I've got my light and my dark petal pink. And I'm just going to go around the edges. You see where Stampin' Up! has put all the line art in, like the shading? I'm just going to go around and color that with the dark petal pink. And you don't have to be real, real um, careful with this. You just want to not go out of the lines of the flower, right? Gosh, this is so much more relaxing. I was watching the news earlier today and we're not gonna get off on a rant about that because this is a happy place, but I'll tell you what, I couldn't hardly wait for tonight to come so I could stamp with you and I needed to get away from the news. So this is a lot more fun. We're gonna keep it happy, right? <laughs> I 
need to learn just to shut it off. Okay, so there's what we have. And then I'm gonna come in with the light petal pink and I am just going to color over all of it. Now, the only thing you wanna be careful of here is that you stay inside the lines of the flower because you don't want it to look like a four-year-old colored it. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with four-year-old coloring, they do fine, but you know what I'm saying. That's not how you should be coloring, unless you're four. Okay, so, whoops, I got just a little bit there. There we go. So here's our beautiful, beautiful little flower. It's very subtle. And then we're gonna take a little bit of Wink of Stella. Now, I needed a new one of these, so I ordered like four. <laughs> and I wanted to show you, when you get a new Wink of Stella, you need to take that little band out of there. And it does say this in the instructions, but sometimes people don't read them, right? I'm notorious for that. And then you're going to screw the top back on and then you just pull this off. This band is only for shipping purposes. So you throw that right in the garbage. You don't need it anymore. And now there's little push signs. I always shake mine up. I don't know if you really need to, but I always do shake it up. And then you push these and you can see the Wink of Stella coming down, whoops, into your barrel. Now, one thing you wanna be very careful of is not to hold this over your card while you're doing this. Because once in a while, it'll drip like that and you'll ruin your card, right? So I'm just going to, here we go. We've got Wink coming down in our brush. Everything's looking beautiful. And now we can color and I'm just gonna color the middle of my flower. And I hold it up to the light so hopefully you guys can see that shimmer. It's just really pretty. And then I'm gonna color these little guys. I don't know what these little weedy things are called, but I've seen them growing in the wild and it almost looks like Queen Anne's lace, but it's so tiny. So very, very pretty, just a little shimmer on there. And you store your Wink of Stella however you want. There's, it's no big deal. Okay, are we ready? This is so pretty. I can't hardly wait. Okay, I'm gonna take my frame. And what I did with my frame is I put my flower in here just like this. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it in just like this. I need dimensionals. I'm gonna grab some dimensionals. I'm gonna hang on to my frame with my flower right where I want it and flip it over. And now I'm going to bring in my dimensionals. I'm gonna hold that frame onto my flower. I'm gonna do another one kind of half on my flower, half off on my frame. And I'll do one here and one here and then let's give this flower a little bit of support. Okay, and now this is gonna go on the front of the card, but before we do that, we're gonna take some of this petal pink soft polyester ribbon. This is so beautiful and soft. And if you ordered the cup of tea um, online class from me, you're gonna get a whole roll of this. So you will have some. All of our kit classes include product, and this is one of the products we're including in that cup of tea. So you're gonna get to you get to play with this, and it's just so soft and so wonderful. I love this ribbon. All right, we're going to cut this at a diagonal, a little bit shorter. I'll cut this one over here. There we go. Whoops. And now we have to decide where we're going to put these pieces. So I wanna make sure they're not gonna interfere with the dimensionals. And this one won't, this one will be fine. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tuck it in right here. Isn't that pretty? And I've got it right here, so I'll just throw another dimensional oops, on it. That's perfect. And then the other one, this little leaf sprig, I want to be right down here. That looks great. And then I'll just secure that with another dimensional, kind of a little overkill on the dimensionals, but they're coming in handy, right? 
They're gonna do a lot of work for us on this card. Those are almost, I have those backings off on those. Oh, be careful. There we go. Don't wreck your frame. Okay, here we come. And I'm gonna move this over just a little bit more. There we go. And I just kinda wanna center it from top to bottom. Oh my gosh, you guys. Nah! And then we're gonna take this and I'm just gonna snip these ends off just like that. And I'm going to put some mini dimensionals on here. Gosh, it's so nice to have all the right tools to be able to create seamlessly, keep going. And now I'm just going to take this and bring it in right here. Oops, I don't want it to go off the side because you got to put this in an envelope. Don't, don't let it get, get away from you that way. I've done that where I've gotten cards done and it's like crud. <laughs> Here we go. What do you guys think? Isn't that beautiful? Now, I also have my favorite embellishments here. If you had any gold embellishments, those would be really pretty too, but we don't have any gold ones right now. So I thought these, let me use the medium size. I'm gonna put one of these right here. And another medium one right down here at the bottom of my frame. And then, gosh, this card is just so stinking pretty that I thought, why would I not add some more of these and just sprinkle these babies around because they're so beautiful. They're my favorite. You know this, right? There we go. How about one more? Why not? I have a lot of them. I'll just put one right over there. Oh, isn't it gorgeous? I thought this was so cool. Let's get that out there. With that gold sticking up above that frame, I just thought it was a really interesting, neat way to use that frame. Now, we also can't forget we have an envelope and it needs to be decorated. So I'm just going to grab a little scrap of paper here and I'm going to put it in under my envelope flap. And then I'm going to grab this big flower and my crumb cake ink again. And we're going to decorate our envelope. Because why wouldn't you, right? This just makes it so classy. Here, let's come in this way and fill up the space nice. And then I'll do one more right here. Ugh. How about a little bit more right here? <laughs> and then I want this all full in here. I'll do a little bit more there and a little bit more right there. Look at that. Isn't that just fancy pants, right? Oh my gosh, who said that? Bobby said, your most beautiful card ever. I know, and I just like, I don't wanna say that I threw this together because I did put a lot of thought into it, but I guess I was so surprised at how I thought of an idea and I just did it and it came together and I was I was just like, wow, this is so pretty. Ah, I know, right? I made that. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Okay, so here is our um, Season of Chic. And then here is our Cottage Rose bundle with the Fabulous Frame Dies. These are so cool, you guys. I'm, oh, I'm loving these. And I love that they really make a frame, not just a whole layer where you would have to put another layer on it, right? It's like... Perfect. And so, of course, you could die cut these out of two different colors. Okay, let me show you this. You could die cut a peach one and then a white one, and then you could take this white one and stamp on it and put it back in the frame, right? If you had a white one or whatever. So you can actually use it that way too. So, yeah, super, super cool. I love this fun fold. And then I love how beautiful this is. I'm pretty tickled with myself. 
<laughs> that doesn't happen often where I'm like, whoa, I made that. But I made that right there in this, this, but I, that, mm, that's a little bit above and beyond what I usually do, right? <laughs> Sharon said, totally stunning. I know, right? <laughs> All right, you guys, um, you know what? I just realized that I have a bunch of mail, but it's all downstairs in the kitchen. So I think I will wait and share my mail with you next time. And I'm going to flip my camera back around here. So just hang on. Don't get sick on me. Here we go. I haven't done this in a long time. Facebook was cutting me off when I turned my camera back around after I was done stamping. So, um, and then I gotta put my other glasses on because I can't see my screen. All the things, right? All the things. So I wanna thank you guys for joining me tonight. I certainly appreciate it. Please make sure you're clicking on that like button. Give me a thumbs up. Also, click on the share button and share my video. That really helps me. Lisa says it reminds her of Haley with the pink and gold. I know, right? Haley is in love with gold anything. She loves gold. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, make sure you click on that share, whether you're on YouTube um, later watching, or even if you're watching later after I'm done being live on Facebook, when you click on that share, that really helps me out a lot, and I really appreciate it. Oh, we got kind of a really pretty sky outside. And yeah, I think Steve's done. I don't see any motion out there. <laughs> chop, chop. <laughs> I know I'm so mean. It was funny because the other day when we went to leave to go to the wedding, um, he got in the Explorer and I, I don't go places. I mean, I don't go a lot of places. I'm mostly just home here in my office and um we got in the in the explorer to head down to the wedding festivities and he goes you're almost out of gas and I looked at him I'm like whose fault is that I had driven it several places last week so I I'm really spoiled and I know how lucky I am, but he keeps it full of gas, which has never been the case our entire married life. I was always very do everything myself and I don't ask for help and I can get out a drill and do things just as easily as you can and whatever. But now that he's retired, I feel like that's kind of your job to keep that going there. I'm working. You keep all the things happening. Keep our house running smoothly, like I did all these years. So, <laughs> four guys on a break, Judy says. Yeah. Um, with Memorial Day, I'm glad you're asking that. Um, at the very beginning of this video, I said, it's Memorial Day weekend next weekend. I will not be live. Um, I think we might be going up north, and I'm getting ready to go to Utah. So, um, I will not be live, but... Either that weekend or the following weekend, I am going to try my darndest before we go to Utah to give you guys a Facebook Live Not Live, which is a link to a video that I'm going to make for while I'm gone. So um, I'm going to try to do that. But I, I kind of said earlier that I'm really swamped with three kids, two kids going out of here this week and... Um, all kinds of online class deadlines that I have to hit. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. So I don't want to like promise you because I, that's, I do not break promises. Like that is not okay with me. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't want to like promise you something that I can't deliver on. So I just want to let you know that I'm going to try really, really, really hard either for next weekend or the weekend after, because I'm going to be it's Memorial Day weekend, then I'm going to be gone. I'm going to be in Utah the following weekend. So I definitely um, am planning to have something for you guys before I leave. Yeah, because I love you. And I can't think of a better way to spend my night than with you guys stamping. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Um, we're going to have a blast in Utah. Like, I just know we are. We rented a car. And uh, we're very familiar with the St. George area because we went there many years in a row. Every year in September, we were in St. George, Utah. And we're just looking forward to being together and vegging out 
and it we, there are going to be a few stamping things going on for this um, event because it's all Stampin' Up! demonstrators. It's trip achievers for the most part, people who earned the incentive trip and people who, of course, would have been going to Founder Circle if we had one. So um, it's going to be really nice. I'm excited to see Barb and Dina in person. We Zoom probably once a week because we do meetings and stuff, but it's going to be great to be in person with them. And then our friend Lori, we're really good friends with Lori Kraus. She's coming in from Michigan, and um, we can't wait to see her either. Yay! It's going to be so fun. So I'm sure you'll see some shenanigans. I like to post pictures and share my trips with you guys. And I like you guys to share your trips on your Facebook pages so that I can see and go along with you on vacation too. Like, I really enjoy that. I like to see what people are doing and... And um, I love to see people with their families and their friends or their beautiful sceneries. And I don't know, it's just something that I think is really fun that we can share with each other. And I know sometimes people think it's like, oh, Jesus, she on another trip. It's like, no, 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 don't say that. I love sharing. <laughs> and I want to see where you're going, too. <laughs> okay, shenanigans. Yeah, there'll be lots of shenanigans. I can guarantee it. <laughs> The first thing we do is get our rental car and we'll probably go hit a liquor store. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> and I'm not a big drinker. You guys know that. I do have a few old fashions from time to time, but I don't, I don't drink that much very often. Um, but yeah, that's what we'll do. I drug my old fashioned stuff out to Wyoming to Barb's house twice. And I think I opened it once and had one drink out of both trips. Like I only opened it once. So we talk big. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm going to let you go. I need to go eat supper. I have some leftover blackened chicken Alfredo from Backyard and Fond du Lac that I get to go eat now. And I'm going to go check on my husband. And, yep, he's still out in the garage. I'm going to go check on him and find out the scoop on my pool and why he's not out there. No, it's dark. It's okay. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. Have yourselves a wonderful week. Have a fantastic Memorial Day. I hope that you enjoy it. Friends, family, um, if you don't have anything going on, do something special. Go out to eat or something. You know, it's, it's good to be alive. Do something. Thank you guys so much. Bye-bye.